What's up community? It's Rafi here. Let's have a chat. So today I want to talk about kind of like my little ritual um, on my shot day. So excuse my beautiful artistic background. There's a lot of posters and art supplies and stuff that I use for activism, which is right next to my altar. So just ignore that. So let's go on the altar piece. So in the altar here, you know, I have little stones with two pigs and a kitty and another stone that says happiness on it and they just help my like get myself balanced and grounded and they remind me of the good things and what I really love and really connect with animals so I really recommend finding something that you can connect yourself with and you feel grounded and safe and then just have this little object there I also have trans flag. Why not? And um, I was able to find a box on sale at a like stationery store, and then I painted with spray paint and turned it into the trans flag, which was pretty neat and like really easy to make. Um, you just put you know tapes and then you go on steps and you spray paint them. So on my box I keep all my supplies, so I have a little, you know, chart where it says my shop dates and then my dose so I don't lose track of what I'm taking and all the supplies that you need, the needles, syringes, band-aids and the alcohol pads. So what I do is I come over here. And then I think I got the stuff that I need from my box. Put them here on my trans flag. Yeah. Get my two needles. Get my syringe. Here's the other one. Boom. And I get the alcohol pads. Put them here. And then just take this with me to my bed. Band -aid. And then the bandage is here. Mm -hmm. I got the bandage. My partner is telling me you forgot the bandage. I didn't like the bandage. So what I've learned actually is that you should do this while you're sitting. Okay? Do not attempt to do this while standing which is something that I have done before and I literally almost passed out. It was like awful. So do this while you are sitting in a comfortable space. So I just come to bed because it's very comfortable. I put the pill over here. You know, I get myself comfy. Put myself over here. And then usually my partner's with me. Let me show you. Say hi. Hi. And then Pumpkin is usually here too. <laughs> hi Pumpkin. Let me get the needle over there. Say so, you know. Oh, and the tea. I forgot the tea. <laughs> and the magical little thing that's gonna do wonders for you. <laughs> so, you got all your stuff here. And, you know, it can be very difficult for a lot of folks to do it. And, you know, it's not an easy thing for you to just inject yourself every week or by weekly or whatever you're doing. So it's really good to be able to establish some sort of rituals and really feeling safe. So sometimes, a lot of times, I play music on my phone while I'm about to do this. Stuff that keeps me excited and relaxed and happy. And then I just go through the process. I'm not going to show how to do it because there are tons of videos on how to like draw the thing. But what I do, and it's a good tip, you know, I'll, I'll do my shot, then I pick, pick my belly fat. And my doctor told me uh, to think of this as a pencil. Which I really love because as an artist this like totally sat down for me really well. You know, I'm thinking of it as almost like this instrument of I don't know, creation and uh, something that's gonna do beautiful things. So I literally just hold this as a pencil. 
And what I learned is that I don't go slow. Okay? Like if you go slow, or at least for me, it like really burns, so I just literally go and like poke it. Poked it in. And then I go over here, which is a little wonky, and then I do the whoosh, okay? Um, I usually don't like to look at the liquid, so this is something you're gonna have to experiment if you're cool looking at it. I feel really weird looking at it. Um, my partner will let me know when it's done, or sometimes I just like take one look. It can be really weird in your mind. It's like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a substance going into your body, but what I like to, to do about it um, and how I think about it is it's helping me take control of my own body and who I want to be and who I am. So in this sense, it's like regaining control but not so much losing control. So that's what, that's the way I like to, to think of it and how it's uh, helped me do my shots more easily. And then I also learned that if you have an ice pack, it really helps with the bruising because I bruise pretty easily. So as soon as I'm done with the shot, I just hold this ice pack for like five minutes or so. And then we're done. We put the band-aid. I also recommend if you or someone who bruises easily to get um, some Arnica gel. So I'll put some Arnica gel, you know, like three, three days, for three days straight after my shot or so. Just a little bit, like once Not right away, though, right? Not right away, um, just on your following day. That, that helps with the bruising. And that's pretty much it. So, you know, develop your own ritual, create a safe space, create things around you that remind you that you're enough and that you're beautiful and that it's all gonna be good. And if you still freak out, it's totally okay. You know, this is not about being perfect or being tough or any of these things. It's just about you regaining control of yourself and who you are. So thanks for watching. See you next week.